Oh, it certainly is. Uh, obviously, in any competition, uh, your first uh, goal or objective is to is to make the playoffs. And so, for us to make the playoffs with still three rounds to go, uh, that's that's a great effort uh, from the girls. Um, we've certainly combined really well, gelled really well. Uh, our domestic players, some of our younger players, and also obviously our internationals have really worked beautifully uh, within the group and, and most importantly on the field. And we've now got three really important matches remaining. Uh, that's going to help shape the final four and we know uh, this is the first year uh, in the WBBL whereas if you finish top of the ladder uh, you go straight through to a final uh, which is a terrific advantage um, and then if you get second you you wait on the result of third and fourth so we'll be pushing to do our very very best uh, to try and win as many of these last remaining games up here in Mackay uh, to give ourselves the best chance of performing well in the playoffs. Oh, it was a well-earned break. We certainly needed it. We did have a rain washout last game against the Stars at, at Karen Rolton, but uh, we had a fairly heavy uh, beginning of, of the season. Uh, from the girls having to quarantine for the first two weeks uh, in Tasmania, then some games in Hobart and Lonnie, then off to Perth and then to Adelaide. It, it's been a really, a really busy tournament for us so far. So to be in the beautiful sunshine here in Mackay, uh, to enjoy a couple of days off uh, before we get into some training, and then we take on the thunder and the heat and, and the hurricanes up here. Uh, yeah, I think we're hopefully going to use this rest really well and, uh, and look forward to some successful uh, matches in the, in the last remaining home and away fixtures. Some of us have been away for 100 days. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the girls are, are terrific. Uh, we have a young captain in Sophie Molyneux. Her leadership, her calmness and direction on and off the field has been outstanding uh, and she's one of the main reasons why we're situated you know, at the top of the ladder right now. Uh, our overseas uh, players have really complemented uh, our team. Hummerpreet Kaur and, and Jimmy Rodrigues uh, were involved in the India Australia series prior to the WBBL but they've been seamless in the way in which they've worked uh, within the group. Uh, obviously they've just played so well and helped, uh, you know, helped us with some victories. Um, having Jess Duffin back, just uh, just a, a more mature, I was going to say older, she wouldn't like that, uh, a more mature player and a person who's been around the Renegades family for so many years. It's lovely having her back. Uh, she's such a, an experienced person and really is a, is a great, I suppose, vice captain to, to, to Soph uh, with obviously Georgia Wareham not being with us now. And that was a real setback for us at the start of the season. And that shook us in round two. And when we lost Georgia... Um, yeah, that, that was really tough. Uh, but the girls got together very, very quickly um, after that match and, uh, and, and they've held firm ever since. We've only had two hiccups, once against the Strikers down in Blundstone and, and we got taken to by Beth Mooney and Soph Devine, which plenty of our opposition teams have been before at the WACA. So, look, lots of learnings for us. We continue to grow and improve. It's all about being calm on and off the field. We don't talk about winning or losing much. We just talk about playing cricket in the right way and that's competing. Um, that's putting a heap of pressure on the opposition, uh, being relentless at that and at times being ruthless. Uh, when you have a chance to win a game, uh, make sure you do it because every single team here in the WBBL are very, very good. Any team can beat any opposition at any time, no matter where you are on the ladder. Oh, plenty of highlights so far. Uh, I thought Hummond Preet's innings uh, against the strikers at, at Lilac Hill, that was a significant moment for us. I just thought that innings really, you know, she stamped her authority on the competition. Uh, I still think of, of Jimmy Rodriguez's straight drive down the ground <laughs> uh, in that first game at Karen Rolton against, against the Heat. Uh, we were struggling to make 130, 140 at the start of the season and, uh, and Sophie and the girls sat down and, and talked about strategies and ways in which you know, we can improve our strike rate and improve the scores, knowing that we're going to be coming onto some really nice pitches and some fast outfields. And, and the girls worked that out together. Uh, they did a great job of that. And since then, we've made 160, uh, 180, and, and we made a 200. I think it was the first time the Renegades had made a 200 score. So, look, there's plenty of highlights. I, I'm just really impressed, uh, most importantly, about how the group is working together. Certainly don't take anything for granted. Uh, the the humour and the enjoyment and the... Uh, I suppose the glue of, uh, of Josie Dooley, she's, she's a great character amongst the group. Young Poppy Gard is just learning every day at training, hasn't got a game yet. Um, Ella Haywood's been doing all uh, her year 12 studies. Congratulations to all our Renegades fans who have been doing a VCE. Ella had to do an exam and then go on and play and we saw that fantastic wicket when she got the Aussie captain out um, bowled uh, last, last week. 
too many highlights to to talk about, but there's something that's very, very strong within this group. Uh, there's only one highlight that we're after. <laughs> there's only one. Uh, and it's up to us now that we have got to the finals, which is terrific and great for Melbourne and great for our fans. Um, we, we'd love to now really make our mark uh, after, obviously, the three matches, uh, home and away matches, to put ourselves in a position to, you know, to strike and, and be the best we can be when it comes to finals. Um, we miss our fans terribly. Uh, we love our Renegades fans. Please continually keep sending your messages of support on social media or, or the different players that you know directly. Uh, we would absolutely love uh, to come back and play in front of you. Who knows how that and will and how that could happen, but. Uh, yeah, to our fans all out there, uh, it means so much to us. And uh, the Renegades fans have always been the best, always been the most loyal and, and certainly the most vocal. So keep it up.